Hi everybody, it's me, it's Ann, and this is another episode of the AAK Girls. And the title of this one is AKA Blue Skies. Each one of us grabbed up a blue palette that we have regardless of how expensive or brand name or anything like that this one's mine it's the space blue by Delancey and we did a five color bingo and I believe Kaylee is using the Blue Blood. And I think Angie is using Affinity 2. So they're each a little different. But I can guarantee you, whether it's a $65 palette or a $10 palette, you can come out with a spectacular spectacular look. Just go play. If you want to see how this happened, go this way. Hey everybody, welcome back from the intro. This is another episode of the AAK Girls. That's Angie and me and Kaylee. And this time, we're all about the blue skies. Nothing but blue skies. Now, each of us has a majority blue palette. Mine is the Space Blue by Delancey. And we're going to do a randomizer pick of five shades from my 15 shade palette. Get my little notepad over here so I can keep track. Because we know my mind is sketchy. Okay, no repeat, correct, yes, alrighty. First number is 10. Five. Eleven, twelve, all right now, we're all clustering in one spot, four, okay, we've clustered in two spots, anyway, that is the random numbers, set that out of the way, knock things over, pick up my palette. So we've got 10, which is this really intense blue glitter. 5, which is the blue shade right above it. No, there are no color names. 11, which is the blue-green right here, which is gorgeous. 12, which is this blue right next to it. And then 4, wait a minute, yep, 4. So I've got two glitters, not just shimmers, glitters. This is going to be interesting, guys. 
Yep, indeedy. This is going to be interesting. Now, while I'm thinking about what I'm going to do with all of this, I'm going to start getting my face ready by putting my base on. Now, this is my AOA Studios white base. which I love, love, love. It's really, really good. And it's a dollar. I like stuff that's a dollar. It's easy on me budget. I like the Delancey palette because it was easy on my budget. It's 10 bucks through Amazon. It's a little more spendy if you go to the Delancey website, but, you know, you pick. I got four Delancey palettes. And I got them because at 10 bucks, I could get two of the Delancey quote-unquote single shade palettes for what it for for just a little bit more than it cost to get one ColourPop single shade. Now they've only Delancey only has four of those palettes. There's a green, and a purple, and an orange, and this blue. But, with some of the variations in colors in some of these palettes, I get a pretty good coverage of most of the colors that, you know, people are currently obsessing about. So... There you go. There's some reds in the orange palette, which is called Eye Catching Chili. Spelled like the food, not the place. And the purple one is called Purple Dream. The blue is Space Blue. And the green is Avocado Green. It just says Avocado Green. Now, the last video I did recently has got the other three palettes represented in it so if you want to go have a look I'll try and remember to put a link in I don't always remember to do that stuff once I get to edit anyway face has been moisturized and the head has been moisturized yes I have shaved it down I do that every so often. It, it's one of those things you do when you got a mohawk going. You just gotta. And let's see how I'm going to start this off. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. I still can't believe I've got two solid glitters. That's going to be fun. Alrighty. I believe I'm going to take this blue down here, which is kind of a cadet blue.
pick that up. And just kind of get started here. Now, if you, like me, have hooded eyes, you're going to want to bring most of your colors well up past where most people would put their colors because with hooded eyes and with some deep set eyes it kind of depends but with hooded eyes definitely you see, you if, if you just put the color down in here where the crease is, when you open your eyes up, that upper fold up here just kind of drops down and everything's gone. So unless you've got your color high enough, you're not going to see it. And, you know, putting all this lovely work in is just such a pain in the rear if nobody's going to get to see it. Okay, got some other stuff going on. I've started doing a little bit of a stretch on my ears. But I'm going way slow with it. And I'm not going huge. But I have a little problem with some of my earrings causing allergic reactions. Because it they're not always the most exciting of metals and on one of Nikki Raven's episodes she was talking about having a similar issue and she was going to be stretching her ears just a little bit so she could put tunnels in so that the she could put a safe material in her ears and then let the earring ride through the tunnel on that safe material that's not going to tear her, her ears up. And I'm going, hum. So I looked into doing the stretching and I went, you know, this doesn't sound like it's too much of a hassle as long as you're paying attention to what you're doing and don't try to go too fast. Now I know some people just get all excited and want to go for the biggest thing in their head they can manage from the get-go. This is not a good idea. Not. When you try to go too fast, that's when you get tears and blowouts. And I've seen some of the vids on those, and they're nasty. Okay, I've used 12. And I think I'm going to grab up a different brush and I'm going to pick up 11 and do, go ahead and do the inner corner. And I'm going to spritz it just a bit because it's a shimmer.
don't forget dry your brushes off you don't want to put a wet brush into your pan because the fluid will accumulate in the pan until it corrupts the entire pan all the way to the bottom. So yeah, you might get away one time with an accident of getting fluid into the pan and being able to scrape the hard pan off the surface. But if you keep letting it get in there, it's going to go all the way to the bottom and you're going to wreck the whole pan. It's not worth it. That's pretty interesting. The other reason to dry your brush is if you let fluid build up and run down into the ferrule, which is this part that holds the bristles on, it could loosen up your glue and you would lose your brush. Now granted, this brush in particular is not terribly expensive. I picked this up at Dollar Tree. However, that doesn't mean I want to wreck the brush because having to replace it, I can't guarantee that they'll have another one at Dollar Tree just like this. So I can't guarantee I can replace it for a dollar and even a dollar is sometimes hard to come by. So don't just blow it off and go, oh, it's a cheap brush. Don't worry about it. Look, it's a, these are, this is a good brush. It's soft. It works well. So, dollar or not, Don't be wasteful with your money or your utensils or your product. You know, just like think first. Now, I'm not going after 10 or 4 anytime real soon. That's the two glitters take a different brush again and I'm going to pick up five which is this one here when I'm holding the palette upside down it's only a little darker than that first shade that I picked up only a very little bit little bit darker but definitely enough that you can tell it's a different shade I'll go back and twiddle with that shimmer shade just a bit kind of smooth out that transition just a little. If I remember correctly, the other two ladies are working 
with I think Kaylee was going to use Blue Blood and Miss Angie is going to be using the Affinity 2. So we're giving you several different palettes that you can do a blue look with. And I'm pretty sure they're not only going to be different, but they're going to be pretty radically cute. Try and play up on my own skills? <laughs> sure. Anytime. No, I do not have professional skills doing this. I have occasionally volunteered at theaters. I did a little theater makeup in school. I've been a semi-pro dancer, American tribal style belly dance, so I did makeup with that, and in some cases it was pretty intense makeup. But no, I am not a professional makeup artist. I went to beauty school, learned to cut hair, do perms, that kind of thing. Didn't do any makeup though. Alrighty. Gotten that far and I still have two I have to use. And that's those chunky glitters. I'm going to zip off of here and like put the foundation and stuff on and maybe like get my eyebrows tucked in and we will see where we go from there i'll be right back i went this way Alrighty, i'm back i've got my foundation on which is actually a new one this is the second time i'm using it um maybelline recently came out with Dream Urban Cover and I figured I'd give it a shot because this is actually two steps because it's got SPF 50 in it and I like having my SPF 50 yes I put regular sunscreen on the naked head <clears throat> but if you don't like fragrance, this one isn't actually perfumed, but you're going to smell like you're at the beach. It definitely smells of sunblock. Um, the formula is really nice. Sets down quick. Um, the color I'm currently wearing is the 110 Porcelain, which is the color I normally go for as we get into winter. And yes, I've been favoring that Charlotte Tilbury palette, and I figured I needed to, like, pick out a few of my other things instead of just using that one all the time. So, I have a blush, Pixie by Petra, and this one is in Whisper Pink. This was an Ipsy piece, and the highlight is by Estate. It's called Do Me. It's another subscription piece. And the bronzer is, believe it or not, listed as a blush through AOA Studio. 
and it's called Perfect Blush. And this one is called Fino. Now, on a darker complexion, yeah, this is probably a really nice blush. But on my skin to chicken skin, it's like a very nice bronzer. Then again, anything with, my, with any color is kind of dark on this face. Let's get some more. Yes, I got my eyebrows on. And when I finished putting everything else on, it was starting to already look a little dry and a little powdery. So this was on special at one of the stores that I go to. It's the Covered Girl Lock It Up setting mist and this one smells like cucumber and i picked it up for two bucks okay this is an la colors pencil that i picked up at dollar tree that i'm doing my upper lid tight line with. Now this one's actually a brown as opposed to black which most people tend to use. But I like my browns. And then I've got a blue pencil that came in a color workshop set. And then I've still got two colors in the blue palette that I've got to use and both of them are glitters. I've got the pale one here and this darker one here. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to put some glitter glue in some places. I want to use these glitters because it makes sense. Squeeze a little bit out on my little glass palette here. got some itty tiny brushes that came in some of this stuff and I'm going you know these are great for working in little tight places a little of that glitter glue I'm gonna put it right here along that mesh line Now, see, the thing about these glitters that drives me bats is if you put your finger in it and give it a really good rub, it's gorgeous. You cannot always, though, get it to show up like that on your eye. But I'm going to try. This is definitely a stick your finger in it kind of thing. Now see, it's still get this gorgeous shine 
where it's packed onto your finger and you don't get it on the lid because you really can't do the same kind of drag it out and no I'm not going way deep into those inside corners with this stuff I'm not doing it you can't make me it would be even a bigger yell about it if I had contacts because I don't want this stuff to get up under a contact either no I don't have my contacts yet Yes, you will be waiting forever. Because the monkeys are expensive. <laughs> I did not tell you to get over on my nose. Where did you get the idea I wanted you on my nose? up just a little bit that's a little closer oh yeah these they're little microfiber claws for cleaning up stuff got them at Dollar Tree six to a pack they're called microfiber baby wash cloths Imagine. Simplety, simplety. Now, I'm going to do kind of the same thing. But I'm actually going to put that lighter one up under the lash. Just because. And in this case, since I'm getting glue all over those lower lashes, I'm going to actually take a little brush, another little brush, and I'm going to just kind of dab that in there, and then kind of dab that in there. Like I said, I'm getting glue on my lashes and everything else. I may spray this brush just a tad to see if that helps it pick up better. But this is also why I haven't done any mascara on any of the lashes yet. Because I'm hoping that when I go to actually do the mascara, the mascara brush will help remove some of the glitter glue from the lashes. Have you met me, the Infernal Optimist? I didn't say anything about Eternal Optimist. I said Infernal Optimist. <laughs> A little more glitter glue. Now, I want you guys to remember that glitter can be a little dangerous. It really can. If the glitter chunks are too big, if the glitter chunks are not rated for makeup, especially if it's not rated for makeup you can end up with a cut in your eye not just on the eyelid you can cut your eye you can cause yourself a good deal 
of pain, agony, anguish, and some pink eye while we're at it. I'm going to put just a little bit of regular black liner right along the lash line at least as well as it will go with that glitter there just something to get the lashes to stand out a little more once I get around to putting the mascara on So, how's the weather where you are? Where I am, it's gone from relative summer to, yeah, we're definitely in the fall now. I live in southeastern Oregon in a valley in the Elk Ridge Mountain Range. Oh, excuse me, Elkhorn Mountain Range. And... All of the ridge lines surrounding our little valley now have fresh layers of snow on the higher spots. And yesterday, when I went out to go do some shopping with my hubby, it was 44 degrees out there. I believe I need to get on with getting me my new coat. My grace period for the year is over. <laughs> now, last year, which was our first winter here, it was not much of a winter if you ask the locals who have been here for years. It was pretty slack. Now, we got plenty of snow. We enjoyed it. The kids enjoyed it. There was at least a couple of days that we looked out the window and said, somebody call whoever it is we're supposed to see today and change that appointment. Because, yeah, no. <laughs> kind of thing. Had to put the chains on once. Yes, out here in these mountains... You have a choice. Studded tires or chains. Studded tires are expensive. We have chains. Because even the all-season snow tires that you can get away with in some other places, do not cut it on some of these mountain passes. It just, yeah, no. And... There been a there was a couple of times last winter where we were supposed to go to some place for a specialist doctor's appointment that was on the other side of one of the mountain passes and we'd pull up the O dot and look at the cameras for the intersections and stuff. Yeah, we were not going. Just not going. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. Allergies kicking my backside. Now, look, I've got mascara up in my blue. Well, foo. Foo on that. Let's see. Now, I've got this blue liquid lip. Or I've got the blue-gray liquid lip with some sparkle or I could just say to heck with it and put on a neutral lip because this is a very bright blue. No, I'm not very steady-handed with this stuff so yeah, it's going to go slow.
looking in this little tiny mirror, so I can't really see exactly what is all going on. But, let's see. Okay. Monitor doesn't look too bad. Blue skies. One blue palette. You don't have to have the biggest name on the planet or the most expensive palette on the planet to get a pretty spiffy look. Now, don't forget, go watch Angie and go watch Kaylee. Do it. Just do it. Don't argue. No, no arguing. Go do this. And then go find yourself a palette and go play. If any of you, any of you, decide you want to do something like we're doing pick a palette do the bingo it's five colors pick your five random colors and show us what you did we want to see Blue skies. Wah! Be good.